The idea that you miss out on the entire college experience by going ROTC is false, especially in my experience, and what it essentially comes down to is time management. So ROTC is going to ask for a uh, commitment from you, but that commitment is not so great to where you can't enjoy being a college student. I haven't messed out on anything. Most of my friends aren't even in ROTC and we still live the college life, more or less. I chose ROTC because I've always wanted to serve. I just feel like it's personally something that I have to do. The option had to come down between enlisting and going to college. My parents kind of talked me into going to college and my way of still being able to serve was doing it through Army ROTC. That was the best balance of both worlds. I think ROTC sets us apart from our peers by providing us with a purpose and I think that having a purpose is a very, very important part of an individual's life and moving through, you know, different stages of your life and career. You do get paid to be an ROTC. Uh, I don't, that's not really a reason to be an ROTC, but you do get paid a stipend on top of the scholarship if you choose to accept that, if you earn and choose to accept that. When you're competing for a scholarship, so if you're competing for it out of high school, like as a high school graduate, it's gonna come down to uh, your high school extracurriculars and basically your grades. But once you're enrolled in ROTC, it's gonna be more based off of your performance in ROTC. So if you don't get the national scholarship in high school, it's not the end of the road. You still have a lot of options available to you. If you are not awarded the scholarship uh, coming out of high school, you can still enroll into ROTC, which would mean that you would not have a contractual binding agreement. And once you're enrolled in ROTC, you can do things to prove yourself and earn a scholarship. This is how most people that I knew got their scholarships, was from enrolling in ROTC and then earning one while they were already in the program. I am studying nutrition and health. Uh, the current goal right now is to become a registered dietitian. However, if opportunities present themselves within the Army or the National Guard, I'd be open to taking those as well.